I'm Brother Guy Consolmagno, and I'm the astronomer and curator of media rights at the Vatican Observatory. It's got a historical reason and a um, catechetical reason. The historical reason goes back to the reform of the calendar, the usefulness to be able to understand how the calendar works. It needed astronomers for that in the 1500s. And in the late 1800s, having a national observatory was a symbol of nationhood. In those days, the Vatican was insistent that it was an independent country from Italy. But there was also something else that happened at the end of the 19th century. That was the beginning of the idea that church and science were opposed. You don't find that anywhere in history. You don't people see people talking about that until about the middle of the 19th century. And it's a crazy idea because most science was invented by people of the church. Most science was done by churchmen. So in order to show the world that the church supported science, Pope Leo XIII specifically organized an observatory, an astronomical observatory, the kind of thing that frankly has no financial use. It's nothing but pure research. To show the world, look, we not only value science, we value it enough that we'll pay for it. We've got, again, the scientific goals and the, uh, the apologetic goals. The scientific goals, to do good science. When I arrived, the director gave me specific instructions. Do good science. If our purpose is to show the world that the church supports science, we have to provide the science that the church will be supporting. But we have no other restrictions beyond that as to the science we do. Um, to my mind, though, the other half of what we do is to give talks like the ones I'm giving. And the most important audience are not the other scientists. What is more important is to remind Catholics who are not scientists that science is part of our patrimony. Science is one of the things that the church gives us, that God gives us as a way of getting to know him. There are too many people out there who say that there's a war, that you have to choose between one and the other. And if people hear that and they know their religion but they don't know science, they're very tempted to just get rid of science. And that's a tragedy. Science is something we cannot abandon to the non-believers because it's really one of our best routes to get to know God.